Hello, I'm Logan Bailey, and this is the final design video for my 122 project. Uh, I'm in fall quarter 2020, and I am in Dr. Stanley Cronk's class. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Code Brown, got to go. Woo! All right, all right. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. We got a problem. We got a problem. What's the problem? I'm out of toilet paper. Oh, well, do I have the product for you? Oh, man. This is the automatic toilet paper dispenser. As you can see from this green LED on top, there is a brand new roll of toilet paper in here. Why don't you give it a try? <laughs> there you go. Woo! All the toilet paper you can wish for. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Oh, man. Thank you, sir. Hello, I'm Logan Bailey, and this is my product, the automatic toilet paper dispenser. Uh, as you just saw, I had a lot of fun with this project. Um, a lot of things came into getting this project completed, and I'd say two of the main disciplines of engineering I used was uh, mechanical during the fabrication process and electrical during the uh, the coding and the wire assembly and the troubleshooting process. Uh, so this product features a lid that will open allowing for access to the toilet paper as well as the um, Arduino circuit board and wires that are necessary to make this product work. Uh, unfortunately I did have a problem with the IR sensor that I intended to implement um, it was really unreliable and I could never get consistent readings from it and since my product was activated by the RR sensor, um, the toilet paper would just activate by itself without, without any warning. I wouldn't be near it and it would just activate. So that was really disappointing to see that I couldn't get the IR sensor to work. So that's why I implemented this switch and that's why my design isn't as clean as I would like it to be. However, all things considered, I still look at this design as a wild success. So I'll take you through some of the features that I did during the design project process. So as you can see here from the top, we have two hinges that are very sturdy. On the inside, we have a roller that supports the toilet paper roll. In here is an L bracket to alleviate some of the stress from the bottom and really uh, add some overall strength to the, to the design. Um, some of the circuitry that I used was the Arduino, a servo, the RGB LED, and the circuit board, as well as a whisker switch, because the whisker switch was much more reliable than the IR sensor. Uh, 